my next play is uh, going against my favorite team to bet against. Uh, uh, I, I'm taking Nevada at home versus a bad Pacific team, um, getting Nevada's minus 12 and a half. Uh, Nevada's got most of their, their lineup returning from a good team last year. Um, they've got three senior guards. You know, I hate uh, Lucas, but he is going to be better than the Pacific guards here. Um, he loves to dominate these smaller schools when he is the better player. Um, him, Blackshear, Pacific has nobody that can cover any of them, to be honest. Um, they don't have size that can take advantage of the um, Nevada being a little smaller this year. They have guards, and their guards are not as good as the trio of Coleman, Blackshear, and Lucas. All senior guards, by the way, they're not going to want to lose this game at home. They've already went to Washington, beat Washington um, this year already. They played a Sacramento State game at home, and I think the Sac, Sac State team is, is – I have them a little bit better than Pacific um, this year as well. And they beat a Sac State team by 14. Um, I think they take care of business, especially Pacific coming off an upset win at Cal. You know, Nevada's not going to take them too lightly, seeing that. And um, I think Nevada comes out, takes care of business. Uh, maybe Pacific keeps it somewhat close first half, but I think those senior guards, Blackshear, Lucas, Coleman, are going to uh, take over in the second half and um, just wear, wear Pacific down and uh, win this game maybe by – 15, 16 points. Yeah, I can get on board with you on this one. You know, you look at Nevada, defeated Sacramento State, 77-63, just covered by the uh, hook there. But they beat Washington, very impressive win. They were five-point underdogs. They won on the road. Um, returned 68.4% of their minutes from last year and 67.7% of their scoring from last year. So as you mentioned, they got a lot coming back. Um, as far as ATS goes, they are 4-0 straight up and against the spread in their last four meetings with Pacific, against Pacific. They are 5-1 and one against the spread over its last six games at home. On the other side, Pacific, 2-3 and three against the spread in their last five on the road, and they are 1-5 and five in their last six games played in November. Uh, only thing positive for Pacific is their win against Cal, but who knows how good Cal is going to be. You know, they got a new coach. They've been terrible for a long time now. We don't know how much that win is really going to be worth in the long run. Um, exactly. Cal was not very good last year. We thought they'd be improved, but losing at home to Pacific is not the way to, to uh, bounce back. Yeah, well, I've talked about Leonard Perry, their head coach for Pacific. Not a very good coach, in my opinion. Um, and the last thing I'm looking at here, on Evan Maya's rankings, Nevada 57th, very respectable. Pacific 170 in the rankings there. Well, and, probably has Pacific a little high. Um, Nevada's going to be a tournament team again. You know, um, tournament teams don't, don't lose this game at home. I, don't, I just don't think it's close. Nevada can be a tough place to play. Um, you know, I, I think they, they win this game easily. Yeah, Haslam Met Metrics has this game, them winning by 15. So I, I, if, of, if, if Pacific doesn't beat Cal, the spread's closer to 14 16, I think. Yeah, a lot I of metrics Cal. have uh, Nevada covering this game. I do like the fact that they got a lot of returners. And for Pacific, that might have been their high point of the year, winning at Cal. So we'll see. And then um, 